All right, this is Realtor Fight Club, episode 74. I hope this is okay. Do I sound about the same? Um, it sounds fine to me. I don't, they're a little pickier than I am. Yeah, I just want to make sure. I mean, I've got it here. I, I just got the sound of your voice. I haven't freaking, thanks. I haven't hooked it up yet. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Welcome to another episode of the Realtor Fight Club. Jay Mert, what's going on? Hey, Monica. How you been? Great. How are you? Very good. Very good. Scratch All right, guys. Fight today. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I'm. What? I think we're gonna fight. I think we are. Good. Let's I'll be do interested and see what you think about this one today. Of course, guys. Thanks for joining us. We love, love, love having you here and. Mostly, mostly we love having you here because we want to make sure that you're finding your own comfortable zone because that's where you're going to be your best. And whether you a do little things, uncomfortable, whether you do things wrong like Jen Merlin or you do them <laughs> right like me, I just want you to be happy. <laughs> okay. I want you All to right. be funny. Just so funny. now you can decide. All right. So <laughs> today, Jen and I are going to be duking it out over this question. Who's better at sales, introverts <laughs> or extroverts? Introverts? You want to go first? Well, first of all, what are, what are you? I mean, come on, we're both the same. <laughs> okay, I'm an I'm a version of an extrovert though. That I'm an introverted extrovert. What's that? That well, sounds that's, that's, that's where you can extroverty to make up names for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you you turn it you know you can turn it on and you're in your zone and all that but then you have to go away from people and recharge like I can't be with people all the time yeah I cannot I need my space mm, do you are you like guess, that yeah I get that do I need you? my space like maybe like a couple of days out of the month yeah well we talked about this too you get your space I do at home at night I'm, you know, with my nephew and my mom and Sharon and five dogs. <laughs> I think it depends on who you're around too. Cause like there's certain people that just like will suck the energy out. And then yes. there's a, certain people that like fill you up. Give you so energy, it really yeah. depends if you've had so too many people sucking it out or yeah. like whatever, you know? Yeah, it's so <clears> true. <throat> now my family does not suck energy out of me, but it's still not alone time. It's not yeah. alone time. I get it. Anyway, let's, let's do this. Go ahead, Jen. Extroverts. Extroverts make better sales. People tell me why you think of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's my short answer. Yeah, so I think as, as extroverts, it's a more, it's more natural for us to talk to people and sales is a contact sport. It's all about talking to people. So it's easier for us. I think it's more difficult for introverts to do that. Now, that being said, my partner, Alan is an introvert. Mm -hmm. That man is a beast. He's very he's, good. The very thing good. About, here's the nuance. So I think for extroverts, like it's easy for us to start, but like in my case, it's really difficult to like, I don't know. Like I want to say for him, it's easier to follow a process. So like once he got it, he, there's no boundaries mm -hmm. and he's better at the job of being a realtor. Whereas so, I'm just better at being like, la, 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 la. right. Well, and that kind of goes along with my really definitive answer of it doesn't matter. Oh, of course you're going to be Switzerland. No, I'm serious. In Switzerland in like a, in a whole episode. <laughs> I'm serious. And here's what I mean by that. It's not really about ability as it comes to extrovert and introvert, as you just proved with your example of you and Alan. Yeah. It's really, um, uh, A, how you learn, because you're right. If we had just pounded the extrovert way of sales into Alan's head, do you think he'd be very good? No. Like, hey, this is the only way you can do this, Alan. Right. right? Versus, you know, finding the, the activities that feel comfortable for you, finding the process, if that's what you like to follow. And that's why I say it doesn't matter. You're right though. Extroverts probably have an easier time of experimenting and putting themselves out there and they tend to have a bigger net already. Do anyway, yeah. Right, exactly. And so I agree with that. But I think a lot of extroverts make 
horrible salespeople because all they effing do is talk and they want to tell, 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 dump all their knowledge all over you and how great they are and, ah, versus being inquisitive, being consultative, being curious, you know, which maybe leans a little bit more towards an introvert's um, maybe. natural ability. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. We'll have to see. I do. I just think that in the first couple of years, I mean, we've done this, said this stat before, like in the first couple of years, so many agents quit. And it's, I think it's mostly because they don't know how to find the business. But I think for intro, for extroverts, it's just, it's not as big of a stretch for us to look for business as it is an introvert. So maybe it's not that we're better at sales. We're just more naturally equipped to do sales which is oftentimes turning over rocks and just asking it's a quantity like ratio. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's it. I don't know. I think I that's like, true. I think yeah. that's true. But as far as like a skilled salesperson, my grandfather was the quintessential introvert and was the leading national sales salesperson and manager for um, Maytag for his entire Ooh. life. The wow. guy would not have put himself out there for any free money in the world. Like Facebook would have never been Grandpa Harris's style at all. This guy is quiet. He's very reserved. He's very yeah. introverted. And he was the best because he was good at relationships. That's good. That does, that actually leads me to a question. So as we get more onto social and less like in person or things like that, do you think that the extroverts way of just being out there all the time and kind of we tend some of us can tend to be a little show offy you know mm -hmm. does do you think that will be better for us than people who are more quiet and want to like be more reserved i don't think it's better i think it will work for them i think the the, the problem comes in when when you try to do something unnatural to you like you try to copy that or mimic that and think that you know, you have to be me in order to have my success. And I have to be you to have your success. It's just not the way fine, which is what this whole podcast is about. Find your freaking. But there are certain things that like do work. So like if, you know, part of, I mean, the most important thing in real estate is getting leads. Like you have to get leads. Yeah. There's a million ways to a do it, ways to do but it. it all, it all boils down to talking to people. And if you're the type of person that cannot talk to people, I mean, what are you going to do, man? You can't just email them and Facebook them. You got to have a conversation. Let's look at this realistically. The average agent would be thrilled doing 24, 36 deals. Is that what we're doing here? I mean, I realistically, guess, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So if you're doing, let's say 30 deals, if you have 12 people who you connect with, who trust you to sell their house, they will likely be also buying, that's 18 deals. You just need 12 more. You need 24 people to trust you. And as a, if, if you're an introvert, find that way to connect. You know, 12 plus 12 is 24, not 18, right? Just wanna. What, what'd I say? <laughs> no, it's, no, it's 12. No, I said 30, no. 30, but if 12 of them are also going to buy, that's 18. So you only need 12 more. Okay. Right? I, I guess. <laughs> Say, Stay with me. <laughs> what I'm saying to have 30 deals, you only need 24 people is what I'm saying. Because six okay. of them are going to also buy is what I'm saying. Hmm. Oh, my. Talk to th oh my God. Let's go back to our... Can I have back. a second? <laughs> Here, I'll hold up my hands. You hold up yours. We'll count. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go back to our corner and hear a word from our sponsor. And when we return, we will start this math problem again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Now, before we get out our abacus and our calculators, and before we ring the bell for the final round, Jen, um, did you go out and get any opinions on this subject? <laughs> of course I did. Course and I did. because I get to choose who the guest is, you okay. can imagine. Who is it? I'm just kidding. It's Jay Kinder. He's awesome. It'll be really good. Hold it's on a second. You got Jay Kinder to yeah, talk? Yeah, I mean, That's awesome. I know. Amazing, guys. You guys are going to want to stay tuned. Tune into that. Tune into that. Yeah, he's living his best life. Just there moved to Puerto Rico. I know. Jeez. Baller. Moved his whole family down there. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. All right. So let's, uh, Monica, let's go back in. What do you think? You got a minute. My point was... 
find correct find your lead source you're right you've got to find that if that's open house is great if that's coffees you you like you master the coffee network great if you master bni great if you master facebook videos it doesn't matter find what's authentically comfortable to you that you can do over and over again because the secret is in the consistency of the action Yep. Not in you trying to do a video that doesn't even seem like you or, you know, for me calling expireds, which would just crush my soul. Um, I don't want to do it. The greatest thing I, I did my calls this morning and I was like kind of in a bad mood when I, when I woke up and after like just 50 minutes of making calls, I was like, this is so lovely. I'm having the best day. Do you know how many people wish they felt like expired, how you feel about expired. Do you know? So nice. Most people are nice and kind and nobody yelled at me or like, whatever. I mean, I don't know. I don't think they did. I wouldn't pay attention. To <laughs> you just don't even hear it. You don't even hear it. I hear every nuance in their voice. Well, I think you bring up a good point too. Like a lot of times introverts are considered people, people, Mm -hmm. And so we, we do want people to like us mm -hmm. and that can be a problem when you are finding leads. If you want to talk to a large amount of people, because most of those people are going to tell, you no. whereas maybe somebody depending, I mean, there's all different levels. I'm not an expert in these personality types, but like mm -hmm. maybe somebody who's an introvert, they're like, well, I mean, nobody, I'm not talking to anybody anyway. So it doesn't matter what they mm -hmm. say. You well, know, like I just got to do my, my process. It's so true. Well, here's the truth. If you're going to attract business, which is what you want to do, uh, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, I mean, you can go hunt and gather. It's great, but also attract, you will repel. You cannot attract without repelling. And what I mean by that is you will draw the people in that are attracted to what you're laying down, but some people will not like what you're doing you have to find okay space with that. That was a big hurdle of mine. If Everybody I, likes you, Monica. That's not a hurdle. No, no. I, I irritate the hell out of some people. <laughs> They're the devil. Yeah, no. I had people say when I'm back, back when I was doing my dance party Friday, uh, my good friend, Alicia sh shared with me. She's like, yeah, some people just can't take that in the morning. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> well, you want to bring it back, go to, no, I'm just kidding. Sign a petition bring, to bring it back. Anyway, you, so you got to find some peace with that, that, um, you know, willingness to turn some people off or whatever that is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I agree with that. I think, you know, I think it's just, I, I say extrovert just because I believe it's just easier for us to put ourselves out there because we've been doing it and it becomes natural. It's not, we don't have to cross that hurdle, mm -hmm. but I, I'm going to just lay down and let you win on this. <laughs> Good. Well, it's funny because the extrovert's going to have different problems than the introvert, yes. but they're all going to have problems. So the extrovert's problem is you're likely going to just vomit words all over people and you're not really selling. The introvert is you're not going to put yourself out there enough to give yourself a big enough chance to get the yeses that you want. Like it's all just different issues that <laughs> we have to battle, right? Yeah, no, for sure. Oh. I agree. All right. I think I think, that's the end. Yeah. I think that is the end. Do you think there was a knockout today in the realtor fight club? I mean, uh, not a knockout, but I conceded. Yeah, you can, you did concede, didn't you? Yeah. So you win. <laughs> I really like it when you win. <laughs> All right, guys, we'd love to hear your opinion. Are you an introvert? Are you an extrovert? What's your biggest challenge? Go to the Realtor Fight Club Facebook page. It's Realtor Fight Club podcast, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Facebook page. And let us know what your biggest challenge is and how you identify. <laughs> That's awesome. And of course, if you want to learn more about EXP, you can call or text me 513-400-1691. All right, Monica. Thank you. I'll Good see you job. next time. Bye. Bye.